Good afternoon everyone. Bruce with an arrow viewpoint and we're back down to the Ballville Dam location, Fremont, Ohio. And look at that nice pretty area. Now try to think of it with nice green grass growing and I still think we could make a park out of that spot there. Like I said, we are on the Sandusky River and got a lot more water today than normal so we're going to take a cruise upstream I'm going to dip down and get below these wires hopefully and away we can go boy if I had a kayak I think I know where I'd be today that water Maybe a little too angry today, but I think that would be a fun trip sh scooting down through those rapids. And this channel here, we normally barely had a few feet of water in it, and it's almost full, so I'm hoping that'll wash a bunch of the mud on downstream. I always wondered why the river kind of zigzag zagged around here, but uh, this is where she decided to form, so we'll let her be the way she wants. I'm still waiting for a big flood where this water's side to side completely across. And I also think that it will be fun to watch when the ice forms and begins digging the mud away. Here's our spot where uh, there is a culvert or something that drains water in here and that's what set wet spot on the right there. I had to get a little extra height so I can still see my drone and we'll just creep up a little bit farther here. Now we're back to where she widens out. Good to see a lot of water flowing for once. Now from this height, we got some white water. Like I said, it looks like that might be fun with a kayak. Let's see if uh, Mr. Thornberry or one of the other kayakers that uh, do this almost professionally can decide if that's safe enough and maybe worth a call to our Ballville fire. And Make sure it's okay with them. Coming back down to the old location of the dam. And I know a lot of people say that it's such an ugly sight, but I, uh, I don't think that looks too bad. And of course it's still just dirt and stone, but uh, let them get the grass put in and they're going to have a nice parking space in two locations up above and uh, there will be an observation platform up here too so I think they're going to do a real nice job I wish those pillars were gone too but they have to stay according to our EPA guys we'll cruise downstream a ways here now this area we just flew over had over 50 tires and I'm wondering how far down did they get uh, shoved this time with this high water. I'm hoping it eventually takes them all the way out hopefully. Let's lift up a little to get over these power lines. And we're coming up to the Haunted Hydro. 
last I heard that uh, a lot of the mud was settling down here and forming quicksand, but uh, got pretty good water movement right now, so that should flush things downstream. When I first saw that orange plant there, or a little sh scrub brush, thought it could have been a person. So, had to stop and look that down. And we'll keep heading downstream. Yep, I think I see a tire. Let me, whoops, look straight down. Yep, one, two, three, three of them, I think. Well, they are moving downstream some. Coming alongside the River Cliff Park. Coming down here to the Blue Banks. And we still got the water moving much better than normal. See quite a few trees piled up along there. And a little bit of a look downtown. These two islands here definitely got a lot of water going over them. Time to come back home. I did notice trees are starting to turn. We're getting a few yellows in there right now. We'll have to keep an eye out for when the leaves turn here. This should be a pretty spot to film. And here's our River Cliff Park, and somebody's just recently mowed it the way it looks. It's kind of nice. I don't see any deer romping around. I know there's quite a few wild critters now camping out here. It'll be interesting to watch and see how this park grows and turns into a beautiful spot. Now we'll head back upstream. This was uh, just about an inch of rain, I thought, so I'm still waiting for that three, four, five inch belly gusher that comes down and we see the river right up to its banks. So I'm not sure if we'll see it this year or if it'll have to wait till spring. And I have to wave hi to the haunted hydro. If you haven't been down there yet, uh, it's definitely a nice, scary spot to come visit with the kids. Now we're coming up to the Baldville Bridge. And we'll stay at this altitude today. This is one of my new drones, and I'm not quite in the mood to try to fly under that yet. It's the day is coming. And slowly heading back up. I do want to thank everyone for watching. And we'll get back down here hopefully within the next week. And once again, look at that pretty new park area that uh, 
is going to be a nice place to come visit. See everyone soon.